God is working all the time, but what he's doing is received through the hand of faith. We have to release our faith and say, God, I believe your word, and I want to take that as my own. So, some of the things that faith does. Faith receives provision. Faith saves us from sin. Faith can cause us to live completely free from guilt. Wow. Faith fills us with the Holy Spirit. By faith, we can believe that we are pleasing to God, even in our imperfect state. Faith purifies the heart, it sanctifies the person, it brings revelation, it justifies us, it gives us access into the presence of God. By faith, we're made right with God. Faith gives us security and confidence, it brings blessing, it brings hope, it produces good works, it edifies, it keeps us true to God, and it quenches all the fiery darts of the enemy. But Ephesians 6 says, lift up the shield of faith. It doesn't say drag it along with you. It doesn't even say just, you know. Yep, got my shield. Yes, sir, got that shield of faith. Woo, I'm a faith woman. Yeah, well, are you lifting up the shield of faith when one of those fiery darts is... Here comes another lie. No, I don't believe that. Here comes another attack. No, I don't believe that. Ephesians 6, 16. I think I'll just leave that there for you guys to see. Ephesians 6, 16 in... The Amplified says, lift up over all the covering shield of saving faith, upon which you can quench all the flaming missiles of the wicked one. In the King James says, above all. Can somebody say, above all? <laughs> above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. But once again, that, sh that shield, faith can do us no good if we don't pick it up, lift it up, release it, let it go, and how do we release our faith? Through praying, through saying, and through faith-filled, God-inspired action. 